Hey everybody, it's a crazy fan coach time here because I'm having an amazing day. So today and this morning is the PS5 showcase and I've woken up early. It's 5.30 in the morning and oh my god, dedication. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, it's starting in half an hour and guys, like we... We're, we're so ready for this. Obviously, we got last week the Xbox price because unfortunately the whole showcase was leaked. Um, so they did unveil the price for that. And that's exciting. Um, today, obviously, they probably will be unveiling the price for the PS5. But I'm hoping that we get to see more trailers and just more games because, you know, it's obviously going to be a lot of games for the PS5, so I hope that we get a lot. And yeah, I'm really, really excited, so let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video game trailers, movies, and TV shows. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. The following content is captured on PC, emulating the PS5 experience. I'm all for it. Give it to me. What is this? You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only Final Fantasy? Fantasy? How do we even know the girl will be on mine? Maybe not. Or do not question orders. We follow them. He cute. Final Fantasy. Jesus already? We're getting new stuff. I'm guessing this is like... Oh! Our foe will not Just turning off the crystal thing. easily. Oh, he cute! Not this gonna lie. Be a fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Oh, damn. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Oh, nice. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your sword to our own? I'm guessing this is obviously like a, a different type of Final Fantasy. Because I've never seen anything like this. It's like very royal compared to Final Fantasy XV. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Oof. Ooh! That looks so cool! Ooh. It's kind of reminds me of the Witcher, kind of. Do they really mean to invade us? Ooh! I need to stop yawning. Oh! God damn. It's the Archduke's son. Phoenix. It's a Phoenix? Ooh, that's cool. Oh. Or like a demon. Second life on the fire. But. That's impossible. Is that a minotaur? The legacy of the crystals. That's not a minotaur, but damn. Oh! Has shaped our history. Is it the Phoenix versus I mean the little boy versus Joshua? That's cool. I'm into it. I'll kill you. If it's the last thing I do. Oh, he I'm not gonna lie, he's handsome. Final Fantasy 16? I'm guessing that's 16. I don't know the numbers. Oof! I got chills from that. That was good. <gasps> Miles Morales! Dang, I'm late for Mom's rally.
Oh, look at those graphics. I'm obsessed. Subway card. Check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. Oof, it looks like a movie. That's crazy. Come on, we're gonna be late. <sighs> hey, dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fine. Dude, look at the whole. Oh. See, Look at the areas. Oh my, my god. Living in Harlem. Pop up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. This looks this so good. Like it kind of gives me vibes of like Uncharted 4, like when you're going through like different areas. Um It looks amazing. Like so good. Like you just get like a, a vibe of the environment, like you just want to delve into it, because it just looks so real. That's what I'm getting right now, and I, I like it. Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. Hello! We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, mm. and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews uh, okay. while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation Roxxon and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. Oh, In this the game, Tinkerer! Sequence, captured on nice. PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, New Form. Let's take a oh look. Oh my god, look at that! I was gonna say quickly, I actually haven't played the Spider-Man game because at the Let's time stop. I had to choose between right. God of War or playing. Um, excuse me! That mask looks like um, Dead Man's mask from um, <laughs> Death Stranding. Um, but I was gonna say, I had to choose between this game and God of War. And I chose God of War. So I do need to play Spider Man. Um, that looks like a child's body. Is that a kid? Or is it a girl? Oof, Raven. those graphics. Then grab as much as you can carry. Oh, you, oh. Damn, Miles! Oh god, no, Miles. Maybe, let go. Oh, oh. Oh no. Get, get out! Oh my god, that looks so real! What the heck? Keep him busy. I like these the these bad guys though, because like each one has a different look to them. Um, which is obvious nowadays, because like it's not like you can just like like obviously back in the day you can duplicate things, but like they all have different hair and different face like models and stuff, it just looks so good. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. What the heck, man? This looks like an actual video- not video game, sorry, this looks like a movie. Oh my god, Miles. Like, like everything, like the music is making it feel like a- like a movie. There's just good pacing. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh my god! Thank you, man! Those people! They're trapped! Go, Miles! I've got an idea! Yeah. 
Oh my god, that gives me homecoming vibes. Oh, that's nice. Oh no. Oh, what the heck? Oh, damn. Oh no. That was already, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Already I want to buy that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what about this? <gasps> oh my God, is this the Harry Potter game that everyone's been waiting for? <gasps> Magic. Both beautiful and powerful binds together our long history. Yes, it does. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Oh my god! But now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls. And quite possibly oh shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story. Witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and oh grow my God. your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, oh my god, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. Strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key what the to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. When the showcase what came form out, will it take? um, who that? When the showcase happened, I didn't think we'd be getting this. I was like, oh no, we're not gonna get this for a while. Feel what you stand for. The choices you make now <laughs> will define the legacy of Hogwarts. I what is happening? I'm already crying. <laughs> second video in, second tra third trailer in actually, and I'm crying <laughs> because oh my god, guys, Harry Potter is my life, and oh, the funny thing is, me and my friends are fighting about <laughs> which. Hogwarts house is better. Now we really can. If this is like an online, like, in, like, we can do an online thing, that's gonna be me and my friends are gonna be fighting about which house is better. <laughs> oh, but dude, like, this generation of PS5, like, it's bringing a whole new vibe. Like, I know Xbox is on another level too, but with the PS5, it's like, there's a different energy around it. It's just so exciting. I think it's because they just take so many risks on stories, and it's amazing. It's great to see that. Hello? Ooh, Resident Evil? Whoa, oh, jeez. Yeah, Resident Evil. Chris? What the hell? Take him away. Excuse me? Poor Ethan. I remember watching this trailer and people asking me, like, why people didn't recognize Ethan's voice. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. In life 
<laughs> Do I have? We give glory. I'm just gonna. The bell I was looking for something to all. cover my face. <laughs> They're coming again. <laughs> oh, hello, creepy lady. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mia. Mia. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, I'm guessing they're like old now. Her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard. Oh God, this gives me Tim Burton feels. But the forest. That animation. Cold silence. The bush is empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. Uh. Are they like opening portals to demons or something? It's just a local tale. I'm guessing Mia and Ether are grown up and they have their kids because at the end of the game there was it was a very happy ending surprising for a Resident Evil game. Huh. Nice. I'm gonna- Ooh. Chills. Oh hello. Who's that? Um. If it's just looking, window shop away. Coming 2021! Nice. Now, but I was gonna say, um, I'm gonna um, mute this while this one trailer's going because I'm not really interested in it. But um, with Resident Evil, um, I'm excited to see what happens because obviously in the previous trailer we did see Mia get shot by Chris, which is sad because, you know, like she went through so much and I was like, oh, like at least she gets to like, because I was so shocked that she was even alive at the end of like seven like that was a massive shock um so i was like oh cool like at least she gets to live her life out now with ethan like that's the main thing and she's better but chris comes along so i'm wondering why he killed mia unless there's a reason for it i there probably is i'm excited to see what happens and especially how it all kind of links up to that like that old school like village vibe like i'm excited but like <sighs> So many feels. I'm obviously not going to play it because I can't play Resident Evil games. Too much anxiety. I'll just watch someone else play it. <laughs> oh, introducing the Plus Collection. I was about to look at my phone. What is this? The Plus Collection. Oh. Gold. What are you? A new PlayStation Plus benefit. Wait. Access the entire collection on launch? Excuse me? What the heck? Man, that's huge! What? Oh, hello! Oh, no more news on Horizon. Oh, I want it. Give it to me. How much is it? Please don't tell me it's a thousand dollars. What? Four hundred? November twelfth? We get it early. We get it early. Yes. <laughs> to close, let me leave you with one more quick look. Horizon? Please? Let one of my predictions be true. <laughs> I really wanted there to be Kingdom Hearts 4, but I doubt it because... Wait, what? Oh my god! 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 Wait! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! 
trailer for God of War soon. What the heck? <gasps> I was like, nah, they're not going to show God of War, but <laughs> they didn't obviously, but it's coming. God of War Ragnarok. <gasps> and okay, spoilers for anybody who hasn't played the game. Move along. I'm going to put timestamps so you guys don't listen to what I'm about to say in terms, in terms of spoilers in case you haven't played the game. It's obvious that and sadly, that the the end of Kratos' story is coming, and Atreus is going to rise as obviously the new protagonist of the game. Well, no, the protagonist, but you know, the main character of the God of War games. Um, and I'm happy. I'm 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 excited about it because I know like people like didn't want Kratos' story to end, but I feel like the way that they've done it, they've done it in a way that they can execute a perfect like ending and then cross it over to Atreus' story, so <laughs> I really want a God of War trailer now though because like I literally was like I can't I can't like I keep saying like God of War's gonna be like in a, a showcase of course it's gonna be there but then I was like nah they're probably working on it like they're taking their time like even though it's been it's been a year no two years since the game came out so <laughs> oh my god is that it? <laughs> Sony, what the heck? I'm guessing that's the end. Or is, imagine if they like some random ass trailer came up. Nah, it's the end. I think so. <laughs> Santa Monica, what the frick? Oh my god! Oh, literally, I'm looking in the live chat. Everyone's like, "Rest in peace, Xbox." Bye. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. Guys, I'm a really happy gamer right now. This is so good. Oh, my heart is so full. And just this... <laughs> the games, like, I'm gonna quickly go over the top of my head. The new Final Fantasy... I think that's Final Fantasy 16. I don't know the Roman numeral, so I'm guessing that's 16. Going back to the medieval roots, because obviously we did kind of get a medieval vibe from 15. I felt it, like, with different, like, you know, like, weapons that they use and stuff. I was like, I'm getting a vibe. So the fact that they did go with a vibe for that, whew, that's exciting. And I'm so excited to see, like, that story unfold. And especially, like, the different, like, forms that those two characters, like, the little boy and then, obviously, I think his name was Jason or something. I may be wrong. No, Joshua, not Jason. My head's going to Gotham and... Jason Todd <laughs> but you know I'm excited for that that's gonna be really cool to see how that story unfolds I am a little worried like just quickly talking about Square Enix because and a lot of people are because Square Enix is focused on like four different pro well obviously they have different development teams but sometimes they have to pull different teams from different games to finish another game so this is a little bit worrying so everyone was kind of worried like oh are they pulling Final Fantasy 7 production team to finish that or are they still working on the next installment of Final Fantasy 7 or are they working on Kingdom Hearts like that's a little bit worrying but I do I'm excited for that but oh the Spider-Man Miles Morales trailer was and gameplay was mwah, like it it actually felt like I was watching a Spider-Man movie it didn't feel like I was looking at a video game like that's how high def it was, but also just the quality. Like, imagine with the headphones, like, the sound, the the different environments. Like, they look so good, and just, it makes you want to delve into it, and it looks so, so good. And, oh, that it's beautiful, and I can't wait to play it. And just, like, I like that little homecoming thing where it was, like, pulling the bridge together. I feel like that was a little bit of a nod to homecoming. That was great. And then, um, what else was there? Oh, the Hogwarts Legacy one? Oh, dude. 
when the music was like do 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 I was like oh my god my Harry Potter like fan girl is coming out and I'm freaking out oh and you guys saw like I literally went speechless because it looks so good oh I can't wait and literally me and my friends were like my my chat's still blowing up I need to put this on silent because otherwise it's gonna be crazy but um oh it's so good and oh <gasps> it's uh, I'm still hyperventilating about God of War, but anyway, quickly back to Hogwarts. I'm hoping it's multiplayer online because, like, me and my friends again, we always fight about because each of us are like kind of like in different houses, and we all kind of like play. This is what we argue as friends. We argue over which is the best Hogwarts house, and it's hilarious. Mm, I'm excited. Oh, that's gonna be so good, and the different spells and going around Hogwarts and. Riding on a hippogriff? Like, that was crazy. Okay. Oh, I need a shiny thumb down. Whew. You're fine. <laughs> With the PlayStation um, benefits, I'm actually really, really impressed by the, like, the fact that they're, like, you know, with a benefit, you can pay for it. And then you can obviously get all these really classic PS4 games for free. Like, that's really cool and it's impressive that they've done that like i don't think xbox would ever do that so the fact that they've done this and you know like when you get it on launch you can do it like that's that's cool um but <sighs> last of all is god of war ragnarok we didn't even get a bloody trailer and i i went in ballistic like I g guys i can't even begin to tell you guys like how much i love that game especially god of war 4 like, I did enjoy the first few games, but it was like, meh. But then God of War 4 came out, and I was like, like, there's so much characterization to Kratos, and just, like, there's a different side to him. He's a father, he's a human, and just, like, he has feelings, and then there's his son, and just, meh. And the fact that just there's so many things to do with the son, Atreus, like, oh my god. And then just all the characters in that game were so good, too. Oh my god. So, um... I, I get, like, get, uh, Santa Monica, please drop the trailer. By all means, I want to see it. Um, but we probably won't get a trailer. When's the next gaming conference? I think... Nah, no. October? So, yeah, because we're in September. So October and maybe towards the end of the year we might because it's winter. <laughs> um, but 2021... Oh my god, they've been- well, obviously, like, it's not as if they stopped production straight away. They probably already started writing, like, God of War 5. So, <sighs> okay, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of understanding now why they didn't bring up Horizon, because they wanted God of War to shine, um, which is good. And, oh, I'm excited for Horizon Zero Dawn. Excuse me. Forbidden West. That's what I meant. But, oh, the games that are coming out. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the whole PS5 experience. And, oh, my God. Like, there are particular countries and, like, areas who are getting it early. <sighs> I'm so glad Australia is on that list. <laughs> November 12th. Oh, God. September, October, November. Okay. I can save up. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> um, but god damn. I'm so, like, excited and just revving. I want these games now. But again, please go down in those comments and let me know what you think and what games you're excited for. Or maybe the games that haven't been revealed yet. Which games are you excited for? Because there are so many games that are probably going to be, like, in the making at the moment for PS5. So let me know as well. And oh, I just want to converse with you guys, so please go to those comments and let me know. Jeez. Oh my god. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this sh um, highlight reel of the showcase, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!